entering my final month as MIT Alumni Association President. What a way to cap a great year. Tech Day is one of the Institute's most enduring traditions and a celebration of the desire of our MIT community to never stop learning and never stop problem solving. We all share that as, our, as alumni. Another tenet of our community, as you know, is the application of our knowledge and service to society. During the past few years, the MIT Alumni Association has introduced several outstanding new initiatives, and the creation of the MIT Alumni Better Service Award is among the most significant. Now in its second year, this award honors alumni who have proven an ability, passion, and unwavering commitment to the MIT ideal of working wisely, creatively, and effectively for the betterment of humankind. The Service Award was created in complement with the MIT Alumni Association's long-standing leadership awards. While those recognize service to the MIT community, this new honor celebrates the service that our alumni provide to their communities around the world. And when the Alumni Association puts out the call for nominations for the Service Award, we are amazed to receive so many worthy submissions for consideration. This year, the Awards Committee for the Alumni Association Board of Directors decided to honor not one, not two, but three Better World Service Award recipients. And I'm proud to share with you why all three have been risen to the top of the nominations. Please join me in congratulating Vanessa Filiberti Bautista from the class of 1991, Olawashigun Ige, who holds an SM and PhD from MIT, and Donald Ray, who also holds a PhD. Donald is watching <laughs> Donald is watching with us online. Vanessa and Sagan, would you please join me on stage? <laughs> Vanessa is an outstanding leader who has committed herself to the cause of enabling equal access for technological jobs for underrepresented populations. Her work in creating, leading, and supporting programs for education, job training, and career development has enabled hundreds of racial, racial and ethnic minorities and economically disadvantaged individuals to find life-changing opportunities to achieve their career and life goals. She has inspired countless young technologists to find their place and their work in their work. As a lead for the women's community within the workplace, Vanessa has organized early in career activities, mentorship, rings, and even argued with architects to include nursing facilities that new mothers need when they return to work. Vanessa has focused her service-related efforts on equity and inclusion, creating opportunities and working tirelessly to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion. Please join me in congratulating Vanessa. Sagan. Sagan has pr performed sustained, innovative, and impactful community service in Africa for more than 14 years. His desire to expand African educational opportunities led him to found the Anike Foundation in 2007 with one clear purpose, making education accessible to improve the livelihoods of individuals in Africa. Anika is a small nonprofit that uses its limited resources through its partnership. It now has a network over, of over 200 partners in 20 countries across the continent, touching thousands of lives through its funding of essential programs. The foundation is 100% volunteer-based, and he has grown his diverse team of volunteers 
referred to over 70 individuals in 12 countries around the world. Sigan's effort to bridge the education gap in Africa, the education gap between Africa and the developed world is exemplary. Please join me in congratulating Sigan. Finally, uh, watching uh, on the, on the live stream, Donald Ray. Donald's vision was to pair retired or semi-retired STEM professionals with K-12 educators to enable those educators to have a rich resource for their classroom studies across STEM topics. To that end, he founded the American Association for Advancement of Science STEM Volunteers Program in concert with the AAAS leadership in 2004. Serving just one single school district in that first year, the program has grown to encompass five school districts in the greater DC metro area and includes more than 100 volu 180 volunteers serving more than 6,000 students. Through the foundation, Donald has made a deep impact on the community with his excellent training and delegation skills and his dedicated spirit. Please join me in congratulating him. I'm going to wave at him at home and let's give him a round of applause too. Vanessa, Sagan, and Donna, on behalf of the MIT alumni community and the audience today and those watching around the, wor the world, we feel a profound sense of pride knowing that you are part of the MIT alumni community. And we thank you for your service in helping to create a better world. And now back to our Tech Day program.